shift kit installation on a Chrysler 45 RFE slash 545 RFE transmission. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show y'all how to remove the valve body because I was running out of daylight. Uh, but once you remove the transmission pan and filter on the in inside the transmission, uh, there are six bolts holding the valve body. Uh, here's one, two, uh, three, four, five, and six. These are eight millimeter bolts and there are only six of them. Again, one, two, three, four, five, and six. In the Transgo shift kit you will find several parts. Let me show you where these parts go. Uh, this is uh, this big metal plate you'll get in the kit is a new accumulator plate. Uh, this is installed right here. This you throw this the old plate away and install this new one. Also in the kit you'll find several springs. Uh, these are accumulator springs. And these how you install these is you uh, first undo the bolts on the old accumulator plate. And you can see in here, uh, for there's five accumulators, and uh, I believe one of them, uh, you reuse the old springs, but for the other four, the Transgo shift kit is supplied with new springs. Also supplied is, uh, this is the low reversed, the low reverse switch valve. And in your kit you will find a new valve that goes right here. There are also several other parts that you can install when the transmission is in the vehicle. Uh, one of these is uh, pump accumulator springs which you have to remove the transmission from the vehicle to install. Uh, so these two parts right here you have to remove the or remove the transmission from the vehicle to install. Also in the kit you will get new uh, seals for the accumulators. Uh, there should be five here. In the kit you will notice that you get a resistor. If you have a super chips or SCT tuner um, don't bother installing this resistor. Uh, but if you don't, installing this resistor will firm up the shifts and uh, make the transmission shift more firmer. In this transmission there are no separate uh, solenoids. All the solenoids are in this uh, one big block right here. It's called the solenoid pack slash TRS assembly. Uh, TRS, TRS stands for transmission range sensor um, and what that means is when you remove the gear shift lever um, it moves uh, this plate right here show you real quick and this actually tells the transmission computer uh, what gear uh, you have placed the or where you have placed the gear shift lever if you ever had to replace the solenoid block uh, what you would do is of course first remove the valve body and back here um, starting at this screw uh, it forms a rectangle so to remove the solenoid block you would remove uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can see that it forms a rectangle right here and of course you would remove all the uh, screws inside the rectangle and uh, then you could remove the solenoid block. When reinstalling the valve body in the transmission, um, it's very important that uh, this piece right here is in the correct position. The correct position is all the way back this way. Uh, this is a uh, park. If you do not do this, uh, you can install the valve body and you can cause some damage. Okay, let's get started. 
I'm going to start by removing all the bolts on this accumulator plate. Uh, I'm using a Torx T25 socket for these bolts, which is the same driver you used on the transmission filter. By the way, this side it seems to be under uh, some spring tension, so keep mind of that when removing the bolts. Okay, reading the kit, it looks like you're supposed to reuse uh, these springs and the uh, low reverse accumulator, uh, but these two, these springs right here, uh, the kit supplies them. Uh, you reuse the underdrive. This is the underdrive accumulator. Um, you're supposed to reuse this spring and you're supposed to replace this spring. Only replace this ceiling ring right here. The, the front ring. Um, in the, like I said before, in the kit, um, you get a new low reverse switch valve. I found that an easy way to uh, remove, remove, uh, remove this valve is to place your hand over uh, this hole right here, which I guess goes to the low reverse clutch, uh, and this will create a vacuum, and if you pull back on the uh, low reverse valve and push in, uh, the ceiling plug for the low reverse valve will come out, or the ceiling plug for the low reverse valve will come out and you can remove it easily.
that's not gonna work. <laughs> 